Hello. Thank you for joining us as we discuss the Crop and Soil Sciences degree program. As a reminder, my name is Stratton Lee, and I want to introduce you to your Crop and Soil Science advisor. Hello, my name is Susan Gruber. You can call me Susan. I've been an advisor for the Department of Horticulture for the last 12 years, and I've been advising students in Crop and Soil Sciences for the last five years. All right, thanks, Susan. How do you describe crop and soil sciences to students and share why some people pick this major over some other similar areas of study? Mm -hmm. Crop and soil sciences is one of MSU's applied plant science programs. So our programs focus on how plants grow and how to grow plants. Specifically in our majors, we focus on agronomic crops like corn, soybean, canola, and also on turf grass management. Okay, thank you, Susan. Are there any concentrations or tracks that the program offers? Yes, we have three concentrations. Agronomic Sciences focuses on the production of those staple commodity crops that I mentioned a minute ago. The graduates become consulting agronomists, soil conservation experts, and they work in sales of seed and crop protective chemicals. In other words, they work in the business of supporting farmers. Many also minor in agribusiness management. The second concentration is turf grass management. The students in this concentration become golf course superintendents, ball field managers for universities, major in minor league ballparks, and also work in commercial turf management. Um, the third concentration is in advanced studies. This is very similar to the agronomic sciences concentration, but with sort of a graduate student preparation track it includes some advanced sciences. Most of the students in this concentration do go on to graduate school. Okay, so this all sounds pretty interesting and exciting for those that are interested in how plants grow, how to grow plants, and obviously the concentrations bring very specific focus to those that want to learn about staple food commodities and the science behind it, or those who are interested in managing turf or uh, for various sporting facilities. Now, how many students are in the major? Currently, we have about 85 students in agronomy, about six in advanced studies, and 25 students in the turf grass program. Okay. So what about job career opportunities um, that students pursue, and what are the placement rates? Our majors have enjoyed 100% placement rate for about the last seven or eight years. In fact, there are uh, many, many more jobs than we have students in uh, all of these areas. Students in agronomic sciences are heavily recruited by crop management companies like Wilbur Ellis. Uh, they work for seed production companies and do lots of work in various areas in sales and uh, scientific research. The turf grass students do work in very high-end golf courses and major in minor league ballparks. Advanced study students, as we said, usually go on to graduate school, but all of them have multiple opportunities, not only for job placement, but for internships. <laughs> wow, this really sounds good. Um, but more immediately, what experiences and opportunities will students have available when they start the Crop and Soil Science program? Our program has a lot of opportunities for students to become engaged in the program and to learn a lot about it. A lot of our courses are very heavily hands-on. The class sizes are fairly small, but outside of class, there's a rich field of opportunities with our clubs. We have a very active agronomy club and also turf grass management club. And there are lots of part-time jobs available in our department and undergraduate research opportunities as well. Okay, whoa. There seems to just be so much that students can do. Yeah, and that, that's kind of just the beginning because there are comp competitive teams, conferences that our students participate in, lots of other opportunities to uh, get a good experience outside the classroom. All right, thanks Susan for that information. Tell us about the math and science requirements for the major. Mm -hmm. Our majors, uh, the agronomic sciences and turf grass concentrations require algebra and statistics. The advanced studies students are uh, also required to take higher level statistics and calculus in preparation for graduate school. 
All of our majors take general and organic chemistry and plant biology and plant physiology. Okay, that's interesting. So students just need to be prepared to take a few math and science classes, which will vary based on which concentration they focus on. Now, let's talk money. Are there scholarships available which are just for students in this major? Yes, there's significant scholarship money available. The department has a scholarship program. The students apply for those funds in January of their first year. And uh, those are awarded for the following uh, year. There are also lots and lots of industry scholarships, both for the agronomic sciences students and for the turf grass majors. Mm -hmm.